Hey guys, my name is Dr. Tarang Vora. I am a pediatric neurosurgeon at Apollo Hospital, Hyderabad. Today, we are going to bust some myths on Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a rare disorder. It's a myth. Down syndrome is pretty common. One in every 800 child born in India suffers from Down syndrome. Down syndrome is hereditary and runs in family. This is a myth. Down syndrome is hereditary to a certain extent, but only in 1 to 2 percent of population. 98 percent of children born with Down syndrome have their genetic nature to be sporadic, as in they may or may not have the genetic material transferred from their parents. Most children with Down syndrome are born to older patients. This is again a myth. 80 percent of the children with Down syndrome are born to the people who belong to the normal reproductive age group that is between 25 to 35 years of the age. All children with Down syndrome have a severe congenital disability. Again, a myth. That is not true. Children with Down syndrome are likely to have disorders of heart or the, of the gastrointestinal system. But all of them do not have it. The likelihood of a child being born with the disability would be less than 10 percent. People with Down syndrome are always happy. No, that is again a myth. People with Down syndrome also have emotions like us. So there are good days and bad days. So whenever they are, even though they may show their facial expression may express them to be happy, still they do have their emotions and they have their bad times too. People with Down syndrome can't be independent. Again a myth. People with Down syndrome have a pretty normal life once they start to grow and have a good occupational and physiotherapy and a good social adaptive system around them they can have a normal and independent life. People with Down syndrome all look alike. It's like saying all Indians look alike. It's like saying all Chinese look alike. No, that is not true. Everybody has their own facial features. Though the particular set of facial features does set them apart, everybody looks different. People who have Down syndrome die young. No, people who have Down syndrome have an average life expectancy of around 50 to 60 years of life. So, they do die in their old age. They do not have any diseases or any complications which impl implicate them to die young at a younger age than the other normal individuals. People who have Down syndrome cannot walk or play sports. No, they can. They are in most of the schools today are inclusive of children with Down syndrome and they do well play well good amount of sports. They participate in most of the sports related activities. Though they do have some kind of a physical impairment because the tone in their muscles is slightly less, they may not be able to possess the power that a normal individual would have. But the current environment is enough to inculcate them to play all kinds of sports. People with Down syndrome cannot read or write. No, people with Down syndrome go through the education system just as we do. And once educated well enough, they can read and write. People who have Down syndrome don't feel pain. Again, a myth. People with Down syndrome feel pain equal to the pain that we feel when somebody hurts us. All people with Down syndrome are overweight. This is a myth. People with Down syndrome have an overall low metabolic activity. Plus, they may also suffer from hypothyroidism. The hypothyroidism plus low metabolic activity does not help them in burning the calories that they consume. So, if any person who is having a good amount of physical activity and is consuming less calories, he will not be obese. All children who have Down syndrome will end up developing Alzheimer's disease. This is not exactly true. All children who have Down syndrome have a tendency to make a protein which gets deposited in the brain at a faster rate compared to a normal individual. Once this protein gets deposited in the brain, the tendency of that person to develop Alzheimer's disease at an, er at an earlier age compared to an older individual is high. For example, a person, uh, a normal individual with Alzheimer's disease would be somebody who develops dementia at the age of around 50 to 60 years of age. In contrast, a child or a person with Down syndrome will develop it by around 30 to 40 years of age. Even if they have that deposition of protein in the brain, that does not imply that they will have Alzheimer's disease. Few of them, what exactly are the causative factors, we do not know, but few of them go up to develop Alzheimer's disease. People who have Down syndrome cannot have children. That is not true. People who have Down syndrome can have children, 
but the likelihood of having a child with down syndrome is slightly higher in a person who has down syndrome people who have down syndrome have no memory again a myth people with down syndrome have memory but it may be slightly short lasting they do remember things but the short term memory is slightly impaired compared to a normal individual so today we have busted lot of myths about down syndrome uh, if you if your child or anybody you know is suffering from down syndrome please do consult a specialist to find out more information about same stay safe stay healthy and stay informed namaste